Hi, I'm Doug Kaler with Geoprobe Systems, and today we want to take a quick walk around and go over some of the features and functions of the 8150 LS V3. So we're going to start out over here at the GV5 Sonic Head. So the Sonic Head is the heart of every Sonic machine. So this is the GV5 Sonic Head. This head is engineered, manufactured, and supported all right here at Geoprobe Systems. So it has a 50,000 pounds of dynamic force at 150 hertz. All of that is variable. It has a two-speed rotary head on it. So in the low torque, you have about 90 RPM and 4,000 foot-pounds of torque. And at the high speed, you have about 150 RPMs and about 2,500 foot-pounds of torque. So this particular machine is optioned with the high-speed coring head. So a lot of our customers are drilling with Sonic to the top of rock and then switching over to the high-speed coring head and actually doing production rock coring below that. Next, we'll talk about the breakout on this machine. So the V3 8150 has a redesigned breakout on it. So this breakout is much more robust than the previous version. So the breakout has approximately 31,000 pounds of clamp force and 37,000 pounds of breakout torque. So you can be assured that you're gonna get your joints apart. Another option of the 8150 is the rod handler. The rod handler takes a lot of the work out of the operator and the, and the helper in the field. So it's designed with an elbow and a wrist. So this goes down, clamps the rod and lifts it up underneath the sonic head. So the elbow and the wrist allows you to work at all kinds of heights when you're out in the field, whether you're working off of one of our indexing racks or out of the bed of a truck or off of a trailer. This allows you to work with your tooling at many different heights. So we'll step over the control panel. So the 8150 uses electric over hydraulic controls and that gives us many advantages from operator comfort to being able to move this control panel easily in and away so it's much safer than that. Um, also, um, there's safety interlocks in this. So when you're drilling in the field, you have to have the operator presence bar down for any of the drilling functions to operate. Um, if you're using the positioning functions, you have to hold the enable button for any of the positioning functions to work on this machine. So it also gives us, uh, a, a, like I mentioned before, a lot of safety interlocks on this machine. So we monitor uh, pressures, temperatures, things like that. So it allows us to set those parameters and the machine will protect itself. So if it starts operating outside of a temperature parameter, it will warn the operator that this is happening and eventually shut the machine down. Um, there's also a lot of logging capabilities that's part of this. So we can come in, check the logs of this machine and see the, uh, see the messages and things that might be popping up out in the field. Another thing that these electric over hydraulic controls do is, is we have a modem on these machines. So we can dial in anywhere that there's cell service we can dial in and actually connect to this machine and watch it operate out in the field. So if a customer is out in the field operating and they're having an issue or they think they have a problem, we have the ability to dial in and monitor the re machine remotely. So this really helps keep the machine up and helps the reliability. Another new feature of the 8150 V3 is the adjustable control panel. So previous versions, the control panel height was fixed. Now you have adjustability in that so you can you can adjust the height of the control panel for operator comfort, whether they're taller, shorter, or even site-specific conditions. So if you actually have the ground is sloping away from you, instead of having to operate with the control panel up here, you can bring it down to a manageable height. Another change in the 8150 V3 is the um, just simplified uh, weight on bit controls on this machine. So when you, en when you engage the weight on bit controls, you're actually um, letting the machine manage how much pressure you're putting on your bit face. So you engage those controls and then you can adjust your pull down and hold back pressure just with simple knobs right here on the control panel. And then you have a set of analog gauges back here that you can monitor that. So here you've got your hold back pressure gauge, your pull down pressure gauge, um, other gauges over here, the amount of torque when you're using the breakout on your to, to break in joints. It shows you the pressure of the, that you're putting to that rotational torque. And then also your clamp pressure can be adjusted back here. So if you're using some of the larger casing, you may want to turn down your, your clamping pressure so you're not egg shaping those rods. We'll continue around the side of the machine over here. So machines come standard 
with a Kerr triplex pump. So this pump is capable of 70 gallons per minute at about 750 PSI. Um, this machine is also optioned with the uh, hose pump on it. So most machines go out with this. A lot of guys just use it as a trash pump, whether they're pumping out their, their pan that they're using underneath the head, uh, pump and grout, just kind of anything that they're doing, this, this pump will handle it. Um, this machine also has a hose reel on it. So you have a, a pressure washer wand on this machine. So if you just want to clean it up a little bit out in the field, you have that as an option as well. So the machine also comes with a standard with a wireless remote for tracking. So mobilizing the machine around the site, loading it, unloading it from the truck, um, you're standing away from the machine in a safe position. So we'll continue around the machine from here. So if we come to the back, uh, the Geoprobe 8150 has a 275 cat motor in it, and it is a tier four, stage five compliant. We also have an option uh, for an engine that is, does not have emissions on it for our lesser regulated countries. So this folds down, that uses it as a step. Then you can raise the hood and have really good access to the top of the engine. And then as we continue around the side, there's also another hood over here that you can raise up. So getting in and actually maintaining the engine is very simple. So Geoprobe's known for innovation. So one of the things when we were working over this 8150 to come up with the V3 version of it is, uh, is increased field reliability. That's very important. This machine needs to be working, needs to be making a hole. So what we did to do that is we moved a lot of the sensitive components up and out of harm's way. So um, we moved the modules for the machine into this small toolbox right here. So these modules, used to be scattered around the machine. Some of them were kind of down in the belly of the machine. Several of them were up on the drill mast. Well, now we've brought them back in here and they're in a, a toolbox protected. Another thing that we did to increase field reliability is move many of the valves. So up here, they're tucked away, they're enclosed and, and just really increases the field reliability of this machine. And here, because you can see it, this is just a simple toolbox. So you can put in here whatever you want, your wrenches, your lifting caps, any tools you want out here in the field can be stored up here. Something that's very, very simple, but also very, very useful is this rod caddy. So those of you guys that are out in the field operating, running four by six, things like that, um, and you've got that two foot, six inch rod that you're always putting on and taking off of the head, this rod caddy is mounted over here so you can break that six inch rod loose, come over here and use the head and it sticks down in there. And these are just simple rod wipers. So you push that, that two foot six inch piece of casing in there and you can unthread it instead of your helper having to lift that in and out of place every time. So think about how often you're doing that. And now this very useful, very simple option just mounted on the side of the head just makes it that much easier out in the field. So a couple other parameters that I want to hit on before we finish up here today is, a, is a, this, the sizes of casing that we can handle with this machine. So our breakout has a 14 inch opening in it, so it can easily handle up to 12 inch outer diameter casing all the way down to three and a half inch outer diameter casing. Your rod handler out here can handle up to a 10 inch outer diameter casing down to a three and a half inch outer diameter casing. So, and any sizes in between there can be easily handled with this machine. Um, other features of this machine, so the machine itself weighs uh, probably standard out the door, roughly 35,000 pounds. So the positioning of the drill mast, you have uh, six inches of extend and retract in the drill mast, and then you have 36 inches of dump, which really comes in handy if you're working over a pan or things like that. So in summary, the 8150 has the power and features you need to pull off your most difficult drilling projects. So for more information, call us here at Geoprobe, 800-436-7762, or visit geoprobe.com.